captivity in Islam is contrary to the old Roman culture and contrary to the falsifications of modern secularism. Captivity in Islam comes with mercy to women. A woman who joins a war and comes to kill, you must not be fought. A woman must never be killed unless she attempts to kill you personally, because Islam does not give you the right to kill a woman or a child. It also gives you no right to kill an elderly person, a craftsman, or a monk. It gives you no right to kill any of these, even if they've joined your adversary's army. You are not entitled to kill them unless they attempted to kill you personally. It is of Allah's mercy that He ordained that women must not be killed, because women are weak and they most often never attempt to kill. That's why women are captivated. So they can be ransomed for Muslim captives, or they can be pardoned and returned to the enemy without any ransom in return. Allah says what means, and afterwards, either set them free as an act of grace, or let them ransom themselves until the war is finally over. Chapter 47, verse 4. Just notice how Allah says, until the war is finally over, which means until the war is over in the battlefield. Also notice, as an act of grace, which means setting them free without any ransom in return, or they can be ransomed with other Muslims who are taken captive by the enemy. But can the captives be married, or can a Muslim man have sex with her? The anonymous opinion of Muslim scholars confirms that the polytheist woman cannot marry a Muslim man, nor is he allowed to have sex with her. This is the opinion of all major Islamic schools of thought, Malik, Abu Hanifa, al shafi and Ahmad. Ibn Qadama says in al magni it is prohibited to marry Zoroastrian women or other atheist women, with the exception of people of the book Christians and Jews. Ibn Abdul Bar says, This is the majority opinion of all scholars in all countries, and those who deviate from this opinion are aberrant. And Nawaway says, A captivative idolater or atheist cannot be lawful for a Muslim until she embraces Islam. As long as she persists on her faith, she is unlawful. So, if it was all about desiring women, it would have never been unlawful to marry them. It is even worthy of mention that if a Muslim raped a captive, whether she was an atheist or not, he has to be punished the prescribed punishment for adultery.